Listen up, maggots. This is Sergeant Slaughter. And welcome to the slaughterhouse. Zazel, my number one marauder, has some exciting G.I. Joe wrestling action headed your way. Now, here's your orders. I want you to join me, Sergeant Slaughter, and watch another thrilling episode of the Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship. Welcome to the Slaughterhouse. The storm is making patrol a challenge, but the security systems are handling the battering well. Supercop, Renegade One, come in. Action Man to Supercop and Renegade One, come in. Full force! Perimeter check complete. And the Kel 3000 has confirmed your locations too. Also, Rescue Squads Alpha and Beta are confirmed on both the east and south ridges. All right, I'll be out for patrol with the rest of the rescue squad. Roger that. Over and out. This new system sure has been a game changer. I was able to pick up their locations clear as day, even in this blasted sandstorm. Yeah, it still makes me feel better knowing Rescue Squad are still doing old-fashioned patrols, though. Yes, if not for them, the long haul from Canada would have been a right kerfuffle. <laughs> you can say that again. Sarge is in the lower levels now to see what can be done about that transformation cog. Sarge, you are operating the slaughterhouse on a mere 2% output. This stuff is largely untested. I only took this risk as a favor to you, but I cannot recommend Energon until we have properly tested its capabilities. Oh, the repairs coming along on that transformation cog. Ugh, Sarge. Let me be straight with you here. I've never seen anything quite like that transformation cog, and therefore I have no idea how to tackle that issue. The only thing that seems to get it active Energon, and even that raises its own questions. Okay. That's an understatement. Energon is more than meets the eye. Where did you get that stuff? That's classified, I'm afraid. Where did you acquire the transformation cog? That's top secret. <laughs> okay. Let me seek authorization from General Hawk so I can tweak the capacitor threshold. But this is extremely experimental. I hope you understand the potential danger. Now all we need is a little energon, and a lot of luck. This close to Vegas, have you considered maybe taking some time off and going to see a cabaret show? <laughs> or checking out a boxing match? A boxing match, huh? That gives me an idea. Mr. T, I appreciate you helping out at such short notice. You're actually doing me the favor. That's your guy? Yeah, that's Pal Rock. He's falling on tough times, right? Tough times, huh? I read his file. Well, at the height of his career, it all came crashing down. But I feel for the guy. You know, he came from poverty. I can relate to that. Hey, that could have been me. Had I taken a wrong turn, but he's paid his dues. Now he wants a second chance. Hey, I want to thank you for this opportunity, both of you. I've made some mistakes, but I'm ready to get back out there and show the world I'm more than my past. It's been tough getting people to listen, but I promise I won't waste this chance. I wish I knew then, you know, what, what impact my actions will have on my future. Knowing is half the battle. Damn right. In the meantime, 
I've called on an old friend of mine to help you train. Playtime. Yeah. Macho Monkey Wrench. We got ourselves a contender here. Macho Monkey Wrench here has kindly volunteered to be our sparring partner. It's Macho Madness now, yeah, dig it? I appreciate Macho, uh, Macho Madness. Macho Madness helping here. But who do we have lined up for this exhibition match? I've had trouble getting anybody to take on Bell Rob. <laughs> oh, don't sweat it, gentlemen. <laughs> I've got just the guy you're looking for. Hyena, this tag. Call sign 788. You are clear for approach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this special episode of The Slaughterhouse. With me tonight is the eagle-eyed action man. Full force! It's quite an honor to be in the USA amongst the real American heroes and international heroes alike. Last episode had Canadian versus Canadian as the Hitman and the Mountie entered into a submission match. The Hitman had the advantage after locking the Mountie into a sharpshooter, only to find himself on the receiving end of a shock stick. It was then revealed that the Hitman had interfered in the previous Kano vs. Bulldog match, which led to a double disqualification. This week, we step away from wrestling to give you a very special presentation. Action Man, can you give us a rundown on tonight's event and what the audience is in for this evening? Tonight's contest is a boxing exhibition match, pitting American-made Balrog in his exciting return to the sport up against the newcomer from parts unknown, Big Bower. Both competitors have agreed to street fighter rules, a maximum of three rounds, and the fighter that takes two rounds out of three wins the match. We're going to cut backstage where the Fink is with Big Boa right now. With me, arguably the most unique contender we've seen here at the Slaughterhouse, Big Boa. To prepare for your match against the former heavyweight champion, can you tell us about your extreme fitness regime? I kick up in the barrack store right over 500 and do the low crawl up the mountain while pushing a bowling ball with my nose. Then it's a 20 mile run through the bramble thickets. More push-ups than you want to know about. And a two mile swim upstream with a flat jacket and helmet. After breakfast, I start on the hard stuff. There you have it folks. Big Boa looking to block Balrog's path to redemption. And only time will tell if he shall pass. We caught up with a calm yet determined Balrog earlier today. You know, uh, boxing has always been my passion. But I became blinded by success and fame and wealth. I used to want blood on my gloves. You know, but now all I want is a clean victory under my belt. Whatever happens, even though I may never be redeemed for my past actions, I hope I can show that I'm a changed man. Balrog's self-reflection showing that he may have sincere intentions heading into this match. Resplendent. We'll be right back with tonight's match. Attend! Hi! Welcome to the Slaughterhouse Maggots. Tonight's match is a special boxing exhibition match. Street fighter rules and the fighter that takes two rounds out of three wins. Fighting out of the blue corner. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Balrog!
accident. Finding, finding out of the, the red, red corner. corner. From parts unknown. Big Boa! has been given special exemptions for this match, and this includes the uh, safety helmet, as Balrog has previously been known to be quite, um, uh, bitey. Touch gloves. Seconds away, round one. Boa taking the early initiative. Balrog is certainly playing defense here. No doubt for the purpose of testing his opponent's strength. Excellent. Balrog flying into his own corner. He's keeping his guard up and letting Boa keep on the offensive. A shocking right hook from Big Boa sends Balrog reeling backwards. Big Boa keeping up the offensive and looking to break through Balrog's defenses. Boa moving in to work the body again. Balrog can't afford to hesitate this late in the round. Whatever Balrog's got in mind, he better get to it quickly. And there it is, a powerful left. The echoes of metal singing out through the arena area. Boa must have felt that even through his mask. Balrog is poised to execute his signature move, the Crazy oh, Buffalo. Another crushing left from Balrog. Balrog means business and Boa is battered. An early defense proves to be advantageous as round one goes to Balrog. Balrog has the advantage going into round two. If he can keep up this momentum, then there may not even be a round three. Let's see if Balrog can follow up on that haymaker from hell! Second round. An incredible uppercut that lifts Boa off the canvas! Balrog's moving more towards the offensive here, now knowing his opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Sounds like he's playing oranges and lemons on Boa's head! What's Boa doing? He's tucked himself into that corner and... And he's loading up that glove! What was that sound? That glove is noticeably heavier. Whatever he's loaded that glove with may have just caused his own disadvantage. Look at the weight on that thing. He's struggling to keep that left arm from slumping towards the canvas. He's trying to gain some momentum. Good grief! A sickening loaded left from Big Boa may have sealed Balrog's fate. Against impossible odds, Balrog must find the strength to stand. Can he stay on his feet? The answer is no! Big Boa lives up to his namesake as the snake shows deceptive maneuvers by bludgeoning Balrog into submission to secure round two's win. Balrog may be seriously hurt and unable to continue. Officials are trying to ascertain if Big Boa did indeed load up that glove and... Just a minute. We're getting word Balrog is insisting the match continues uninterrupted and without investigation. We're going to go ringside with Big Boa's manager, Rowdy Ruddy Piper, and see if we can't get some answers here. Ruddy, thank you for joining us. It certainly seemed to us here in the studio that Big Boa tampered with his gloves. Oh, he's done no such thing. He's done no such thing. No, 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 no. You're jumping to conclusions. My man, Big Boy, he came in here, 
on my recommendation to teach Balrog a lesson and how he's going to do it like I do it with his fists. <laughs> you know, they say only two kinds of guys wear a mask, you see. Really ugly ones and really dangerous ones, you know. So you got to ask yourself who's under that mask. But look at the punching power. Look at the speed. He's unmatched. Balrog is come making a comeback now. You'd have us believe that the only thing that is added to his gloves are those cobra symbols. Oh, yes, he, he puts those cobra symbols on his gloves so when his opponents are knocked silly, they don't get confused <laughs> which gloves are which and actually punch themselves in the face. <laughs> Balrog was dominating in round two before that final blow. He certainly could not have seen that turn of events. <laughs> only thing he's seen right now is birdies flapping around. <laughs> All right, Roddy Piper, thank you for joining us. Uh, it looks like we are ready to head into round three. Balrog's got an incredible shiner under his eye. Half blind, but still with determination in his eyes. Lightning fast reflexes. He dodges Boa's onslaught. Boa missing by mere inches. Another incredible uppercut from Balrog. Boa slumps in his corner. Balrog literally has him on the ropes. Will we see tactics or a berserker rage from the former heavyweight champion? Big Boa's glove has plummeted to the ring floor with a thunderous echo. What's in that glove? Disguised as an immovable object, in reality an unstoppable force, Balrog has removed his glove. His contemplation is matched only by our anticipation. Good grief, he's knocked his block off. No, it's just his mask. It's the Merc! <gasps> it was the Million Dollar Merc all along! Is Balrog moving in for a killing blow with that loaded glove? Don't do it! Balrog has worked too hard to get this far just to throw it all away. It's not too late for Balrog. Yes! Balrog lowering that loaded glove! A look of realization sweeping across his battered face. He's dropped the glove. A heavy burden, figuratively lifted and literally dropped to the ring floor. And the million dollar Merc slithers down to the canvas. Foul <laughs> of vindicated in victorious glory. Well wind of a third round. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockout, your winner, Balrog! Victory for Balrog! There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Balrog has secured victory against Big Boa. And as we found out, that is the Million Dollar Merc. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. We're going backstage with the victorious Balrog right now. I thought victory lay within the ropes, inside the ring. But the truth is, I need to know when not to fight in order to truly earn redemption. You know, looking down on Boa at the end, I didn't have that, that hate in my heart. There was only pity. And that's when I knew I had truly won. And that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. Join us next time as the Sword of House heads to Japan, where Street Fighter champion Ryu will be going up against the Yokozuna known as E-Honda. Good night. Full force. He's not so fancy without that million dollar suit, no. And he's not so tough without that loaded glove either. Well, he sure looked sorry for himself. I ran into that giant of yours when I came looking for you. Figures you'd hightail it and leave someone else to clean up your mess. Has he said anything since waking up? He said bugger all. Hopefully you're in quiet contemplation. Thinking about all the lives you put in danger back in Canada. My friends, heck, I thought there were some of your friends too. We've just had a call from Extensive Enterprises. They say we've got to let him walk. His lawyers will circle us like, like ruddy vultures. <laughs> Everyone's got a price. Yeah, well the price has just gone up. Let the vultures come. Welcome to the slaughterhouse, million dollar maggot. You won't get away with this, Sergeant Slaughter! 
Authorization granted. Access code. Tango Foxtrot Dash Golf 1. Yo, Joe. Action man to Sergeant Slaughter. General Hawk has given authorization to increase to maximum energon. Transmitting access code now. That was weird. Okay, let's roll out! <laughs> Inept. Insufficient. Inexcusable! <laughs> now, fellas, I'd say the plan is coming together quite nicely. <laughs> Just when you think you know all the answers, I change the questions. It is said there is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Seek nothing outside of yourself. But the world tells us to obtain peace through possession, to gather materials to ourselves to balance our concupiscence. But this does not bring peace. Our spirits are as unsettled as the sea in a storm. We refuse to accept the truth, the unbreakable truth that we must bend to or submit to living the great lie that we can seek betterment outside ourselves. Victory has taught me that I am on the right path. Defeat has taught me humility. Neither have brought me pride nor shame because they are merely steps on the great journey. We nor lose. This is another step. What will our fight teach me? In the arena of the Toyota Lexus LS400, please return to your vehicle. You look strong. I've never seen such a devoted fighter. One cannot comprehend a sumo's greatness until he fights one. Real power comes from muscle, not in a piece. Now that's what I call action. Have I made myself clear? Good. Then until next time, as you were, carry on and you're dismissed. And look out, Cobra. Yo, Joe. Put this on. Wow, thank you. Walk out into the sandstorm and I'll, uh, I'll tell you and I can't see you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Alright, fellas. Next up, Japan. Woo!
Listen up, maggots. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Perfect. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below.